All right, fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes in social media, fastest 15 minutes anywhere. <laughs> My name is Judson Powell. I am the CEO of Capri Television, and uh, we are on the Roku network. So if you have Roku, please add us to your channel lineup. It's absolutely free, and it will help us out. Anyway, I want to talk about Diddy today. My man Diddy. Unfortunately, um, you know, since we since we got the whole cancel culture thing going on, um, today is my day to officially cancel Diddy, and I got to do this because of, I mean, come on now, there is literally whether he's been convicted of a crime or not, there is irrefutable evidence that. You know, I mean, we all, I mean, I didn't even, like, I watched a little bit and then I, I cut it off because it made me sick to my stomach. Because I get it. I, you know, I get um, tussling and fighting and stuff like that between young couples and stuff. That's why I've always forgiven Chris Brown and uh, the whole, with the whole Rihanna situation. They, you know, they're young people. They, you know, young people uh, are 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 full of fire and flame and light and all of this stuff. So they got all of this, all of this energy. And a lot of times, you know, if the, if the wrong two people, you know, get together, then you know that that energy may not be 100% good all the time. But as and this is why I I teach this stuff at nauseum is like you are supposed to be able to eventually separate yourself from your lower self and start to ascend to your higher self and if you don't then that that's mental illness and especially when it comes to uh hurting other people and doing harm to other people and especially if that's the way that your um you know that's the way that you get your you know your your fun and everything like that but you're doing this at the expense of other people and then you have so much money power and control over every situation that people are very fearful because they know that you can you know you can you can make a phone call and basically whatever you want done is going to get done and so even with all of that being said, one thing that I have always said, and whenever I talk about Diddy, I always say that it's strange to me that pretty much the, the, the record company that had the soundtrack, you know, especially the party soundtrack, you know, the fast jams, the fast jams and, you know, and the, and the real, you know, the real uh, party songs and all of that kind of stuff, Bad Boy made those records and people partied and danced to those records, right? And so that's why it's like, you know, this this guy right here is like, and, and once again, we have to throw like Bill Cosby in there and other people uh, that have been, you know, convicted or accused of, of essay and all of this. But once again, the, 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 the crime punishment type deal or whether or not even you get punished or not is all contingent on who you owe <laughs> who you owe money to or something like that or um, you know or, or what you owe into whatever system that, 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 that puts you on in the first place so when, in, in, so in Diddy's case now this is the this is the you know his way to get a little bit of, of room is the fact that when he started to sue the 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 company um, that distributed his alcohol, then all of this stuff came up because let's be honest, this stuff was always here, and so and the other thing is and so and so. Like the all of these tapes, he's been making tapes and look, Diddy's and 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 in in since Diddy came onto the scene, his parties 
basically, you know, have, have always been considered to be legendary. In fact, that's pretty much how he was able to, uh, you know, to build up Bad Boy, you know, aside from, you know, his, his uh, you know, his networking with uh, Clyde Davis and stuff like that and, you know, and Andre Harrell and all of that. But even with that, people still always knew him for his parties. So that's why it's like this, and, it, and then it makes things, you know, because with him and then R. Kelly, because we can't deny that and during during the same period of time, R. Kelly undoubtedly was the was the best R and B producer that was out there, and and the best, you know, I mean, bar, you know, hands down, bar none, you know, and then you know, and, and I'm, I'm not, and I'm not discounting Babyface neither because Babyface was was out there during that time too, bad dude, okay. But that's all you had. So now, but so now, out of three dudes, <laughs> you got out of three dudes, you only got Babyface. And hopefully, if something come out on Babyface, then I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna retire. <laughs> like, man, ain't a guy Babyface. <laughs> no, I'm just, and that's just a joke. Don't, you know, don't nobody hit me up about Babyface. I, I think he's a, a very talented composer. And a very one of the, the most prolific songwriters of our lifetime. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I have nothing bad to say about that man. Um, but anyway, but, but with that being said, then you say all of this stuff that went down with Bad Boy, but why? Okay, and this is the $100 billion question. It's like, why is everybody from his label either in dire straits financially in jail or in prison dead <laughs> or basically until all this stuff broke loose they were afraid and they were afraid anybody else that was walking around that wasn't in that situation was afraid to say anything about bad boy or puppy or I should say uh, or Sean Combs <laughs> Mr. Mr. Combs now <laughs> Yeah, the, the, all, all of those nicknames, and I agree with Stephen A. I saw Stephen A.'s post online, and I 100% agree with him. All of those, all of those funny nicknames, and all the partying, and all that kind of stuff for you, bruh, that's over. Because, because, and, and here's the here's the problem with it. There, there was no type of there was like no type of ref, you know, like reformation or. Uh, remorse. Even in that, and, and I watched. That's another thing. Even on my um, on my um, TikTok page, right? I've got the um, you know the apology and all of that. And and you can just it's just like, come on, dude. You're not even being sincere with this. This is like uh, you know you're trying to do some kind of damage control or anything like that. And I t always told everybody as soon as as Cassie filed that lawsuit and he settled the next day. That was his worst move. And that, you know, I put my lawyer cap on, and as I put my lawyer cap on, you know what my lawyer cap tells me? It says, look, man, you should have at least waited a little bit to make people have some type of doubt, something, you know, like, like you know, there's gotta be something. And so then behind the scenes, I learned that, you know, that they were threatening uh, to release the, the, the tapes as, you know, as a way to motivate him to negotiate in this in this lawsuit, because I guess she had tapes too, allegedly. And now all of this is allegedly, but the but this is what the you know the, the the street is saying. So that's why so that's why he settled because because I kept saying, man, it's like why why would somebody just like file a lawsuit and then you settle the next day? That's not even you know, there's no lawyer in the world that would be like, you know, if I walked in the room, you tell me, oh, I want you to just settle. I'd be like, what? You know, unless unless there's like some type of overwhelming evidence, which we didn't see it, but there is. And then we see this tape and then it's just like, wow. And, and he still, and, but the thing is, still, he still already paid. And and you know, and and, and unfortunately, you know, once again, putting on my lawyer cap, the the thing would be, you got to deny, 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 deny. You're not gonna go in there and, and you know, unless you know, 
unless that's that's what you want to do, which I guess that's what he wanted to do. So at least, but but what you try to do is you at least try to buy yourself some time, so there is some type of doubt out there in the public opinion. But then, like I said, I don't represent Buffy, so I'm not trying. And look, I'm I'm really not trying to. To tell her, and, but now it's too late anyway. This is all stuff that's that's water under the bridge, so it's it's done. He so, says so. None of this stuff can really help him or hurt him anyway. But here's the thing: now, so now we know that these there. Okay, so getting back to Puffy's parties being legendary, right? So now the problem is is that. How many other tapes exist and who could possibly be on those tapes? And what could they possibly be doing? And are there any laws being broken while it's happening? Now, one thing that I will say, and I and I do, you know, me and Dr. Umar Johnson do not agree most days. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you know. But we did, but we do agree on one thing. I saw what he said, what his comments were about Diddy, about Mr. I'm sorry, Mr. Combs. I gotta keep, I gotta get it back in my mind. Mr. Combs, right? And he said, he said, well, I don't believe he was trafficking pe people or trafficking kids or nothing like that. And I, I don't believe that either. I don't really think that's true. You know, I think that's sort of like a little bit over the top. I don't think he was like, you know, I, you know, I would hope not because that's like a, a a little bit over the top, even for him. You know, even even with knowing what I know about him or have heard about him in the industry and all that kind of stuff, even that is really kind of over the top for him. And you know, and let's let's be any as children, although you know his his reaction when they raided the house was not cool. I mean, he really he was like. <laughs> He was like, it was the we got a movement out there, the F these kids movement. I think that's that's kind of what you, what the message that Mr. Combs was sending to the public uh, when the police showed up because he got out of there and he left the kids just sitting there. So I was just like, okay, wow. But and that's the other thing, and, and that's another thing that, that 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 just eats at me because I have daughters, right? I have daughters, and I have you know I have nieces. And, and nephews and and I have young you know young people in my family and stuff like that and I would I can't I just and those are things that that I would you know I, I would frown upon I would you know it's like come on man it's like the police show up with a tank at my front door and I leave my kids behind <laughs> and I don't stay there to protect this now see now that to me that's more that's more you know because that proves how depraved his mind is. What what parent goes, you know, like I said, and there's a tank. I mean, this wasn't just like, you know, the police with a squad car out front. These people had tanks and stuff. Come on, man, it's the FBI. They got on, you know, riot, you know, the, the full gear, the SWAT gear and everything, and you leave your children. No matter, and, and people say, well, they older. And, you know, at first I was buying that, then I was like, I wouldn't even leave my older kids. And I looked at my son, I'm like, hey, you know, my uh, my youngest my youngest son is 17. I looked, I said, ain't no way in the world I would leave him, though. And he's big, you know, he's taller than me. And, and I don't think a lot of, you know, come on, man, you got, you got men in, in army gear and SWAT teams and you know and all of this stuff in your driveway and you leave your kids behind and you run out here and you see it outside running I guess smoking weed or whatever you do it's like come on man what are you doing and then you beat this girl unmercifully on and why would and, and that's the other thing you know and why would you videotape something like that it is, and, and why would you? And why would you keep the videotape? I mean, it's just so you you, you deserve to be canceled because you're an idiot, man. You 
you got all that money, man, you should have just sat there and chill and minded your own damn business. And if you got some real kinky stuff you want to do, pay people. And do what you do. But don't be putting it out there like that. And like my man said, because that's not how we treat our queens. All right. I apologize on behalf of the black men. So all of the black women out there uh, that had to view that. Sorry. But that's not how we roll. Anyway, fast as 15 minutes is up. It's been up. But uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons. But most of all, hit that love button.